I've been told, are not allowed to go too fast. Unfortunately, that particular memo hasn't made it past my legs into the Merida, because we're doing 20 odd mile an hour. <laughs> Two kids and an adult on a bike. Oh, they fixed it. Nice. It's definitely summer. Bournemouth is absolutely jam-packed. Let's see where we can go to get away from this lot. So all of a sudden our quiet routes are not quite as quiet as they once were. Don't know what happened there. There was people everywhere. Oh, hello. Hello. That's why you don't overtake on a bend. <laughs> it keeps it exciting though, doesn't it? I woke the kids up. It's afternoon, you can do that. You didn't have to nag me to have breakfast, did you? No, that's true, I didn't, okay? I did it. You did it all on your own. I did. I was a good girl, he said. <laughs> what will we do? Okay. He keeps looking back. Maybe I should learn to whistle. Maybe I should learn to whistle so you know I'm there. Yeah, okay. That might explain the traffic. Okay. There's a festival on at the quay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Woo, hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was the mother's thought for Keshna. I was going to say, why'd you she, put a push chair in the, she in the her road? Kid push chair into the road. Yeah, I know. All right, nothing on the bridge. Around we go, just drag the rear brake slightly, makes it easier to turn. And there, I always sort of unclip just in case. I don't mind turning to the left, but turning to the right, I don't know why, I always feel that my balance isn't as good that way around. Good afternoon, wheelers at large, we're out again. We can't go too far, we can't go too fast, and it might rain. And he hasn't nagged me to eat breakfast. I did eat it. The hedgerows are filling up with trail food. Blackberries for everybody else. Oh, for goodness sake. Just the taut machine. Either that or I've put on so much weight that my shorts are tight now. You really can tow me. <laughs> the food smells so good from that pub. <laughs> the food's disturbed me. I can smell it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to take a slight detour today. We're sort of heading for Ringwood, but in a very roundabout way. Well, she's followed so far. No word has been spoken. Look out, there's a car playing hide and seek. Yeah. There's a mini hiding in the bushes. Braggers Lane. Fantastic downhill. Not bad up actually. Long time since we've been this way. This is the bitey bit. That levels off. And it's not too bad at all. No complaints from out back at the moment. Let's see if it stays that way. There you go. I made it to the top. Whee! The closest.
closest we have to flying. I'm flying. It's amazing. It's amazing. Catching my brakes just in case. Oh, there's a shadow on the ground. I know, it's gone again. False alarm. Right, we're going to stop at the uh, cider pantry here with all the new forest ponies. I'm guessing the turkey sandwiches are going to be very fresh. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. What a bike. The only problem with it I have at the moment is this crack in the tyre, just here, this cut. It's right next to the valve, so every time I put air in, I'm looking at it going, maybe I should do something about that. As you can see, I haven't. I'm going to go and see if I can see a llama. I'm going to go and have a look in a minute. going to have a bit of tea first. Looks like the other one's on the way. Oh, hello. <laughs> Okay, a jacket of potato with cheese and beans, the veggie option. And Julie's in with the savoury cream tea, or the savoury tea. It's not a cream tea at all, because it hasn't got cream in it. No. It's a savoury tea. It's cheese scone, tea. cheese, some sort of chutney, homemade chutney by the way. Yeah, looks amazing. Yeah, that's great. Yep, the herd are off. Right, I'm going to go that way. But yeah, I'll go back through the forest. Ah. That's it. That's the broom wagon. Yeah, here comes another one. Yeah. Making sure the herd are all together. Not really going to go any further. It's just that uh, this way is a nicer way back to Ringwood and home. I have just looked at the uh, mileage so far. That's 17. I did say we'd make it under 30. Not sure that's going to happen. Yeah, pay attention, Julie. Oh, getting back on the bike. Smiles back on my face. Yeah, I don't blame them. Get the shade wherever you can get it. Sun's coming out, it's gonna be hot. The sun's come out and we found some new forest ponies that are blocking the road. Look, that's what you call a traffic jam. Right, let's take it really easy. Yeah, I know, I know. But you know us, you've seen us before. Thank you, ladies. There you go. I didn't look at the weather forecast before we left, did you? I looked at it last night. It is actually playing out as they thought it would. Oh, that's good. Which is unusual, let's be honest. Did it say it was going to be clear all day today then? That's a Hillman Imp. Yeah, it's probably got couple of bags of cement in the front to keep the front end down. How lovely is it through here? We live by the sea, but we've also got the new forest out here. No, I'll do it for you in a minute. Thank you. No worries, no worries. Enjoy your ride. Yeah, so electronic shifting. Down here, you'll see there's some slightly strange looking shapes around the clamp on the handlebars there. Definitely starting to crack and fall apart. So I've got new bars. They're ready to go on. And I did think, is this the time 
to go for electronic shifting. I'm not sure. Like I say, I just, there's an emptiness about it, a lack of connection with what's going on with the bike. Yeah, am I old fashioned? Am I a Luddite? Maybe I am, but I'm just not sure. And that's why I haven't changed them yet. I don't think they're going to break. I hope they're not going to break. <laughs> but I will get round to changing them. I've really enjoyed being on the bike and it didn't rain. We had blue sky and sunshine now. Oh, look, babies. Oh, look, they're all coming to say hello. Yeah, look at that. Allowed out on their own at last. Yeah. It's lovely riding. My legs do remember what to do. I've just got to build up my stamina a little bit. On your left. Is the last five miles of any ride, no matter the distance, the hardest five miles? I don't think so, but I think some people do. Julie might be one of those people. Doesn't matter if it's 100 miles, 125 miles, or 20 miles. The last five miles is when she really just wants to get home now. <laughs> so, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button and join us for the next one. We didn't go too far. We didn't go too fast, and it's turned into a cracking day, actually. That was a good ride. <laughs>